Welcome to Behind the Entertainment Scene with Stephanie Thompson. I am your host. On this show, we bring you artists with entertaining insights, inspiring stories, and secrets to their success. I have with me my fabulous co-host, Antonio Carnota. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Hi, Antonio. It's a pleasure. You look terrific. I love your necklace. I just love your necklace. Beautiful. You look like Cleopatra from Egypt. <laughs> Thank you look you, wonderful, you. even more beautiful. Thank you. Well, you look wonderful too. It's so it's nice to have you and so nice to see you. And you pleasure. always are playing the piano so beautifully. I appreciate you so much. You are my inspiration, Stephanie. <laughs> So we have an amazing guest oh, today. Yes. You know, it, we are so blessed, Antonio. The guests that we have, the caliber mm -hmm. of guests that we have on this show, of isn't course. it just amazing? It's amazing. The talents that we have. And this young man is no exception. Gary Fowler, he's a oh. singer, songwriter, and he has a band called Peppercorn. Welcome, Gary. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so welcome. much for Ooh. having me. I'm so happy. Yes, to be it's so nice to have you. <laughs> And you just recently graduated from UNLV. Congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be done. Yes. <laughs> I can remember graduating from college and how mm -hmm. relieved I felt. Mm -hmm. now, what was the first thing you did to celebrate? Uh, sleep in. Yeah. <laughs> that was the, um, yeah. the first thing. But then uh, I started focusing on my original music with, uh, with the band. And we're so excited to be playing our own stuff now and doing what we really want Ooh. to do. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So you had some really interesting stories to tell me. Now, how you came to Vegas mm -hmm. was quite a quite a journey. Yes, it was. So tell us about that. So I was actually on tour. If you guys don't know, I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, and I was on tour in Canada at the time with a group called Harmonic Convergence, and they are amazing. Uh, but what, we, what is that? It's a vocal jazz group. So I used to be in a vocal jazz group before uh, I came here, and they were, you know, amazing. Uh, um, and had so much fun with them. And I was touring through Canada at the time, only for two weeks. And um, I was going home for the holidays because it was uh, Thanksgiving was coming up. And okay. so I called my parents and I was like, hey, right after the tour, I couldn't get a hold of them during the tour. And I was like, hey, you know, I'll be home for Thanksgiving and everything's going to be great. And I'm so excited. And they were like, we past tense moved to Vegas. Um, your childhood home is gone from Omaha and you, you have no home to come to. So cancel your ticket and get to Vegas. <laughs> Oh Whoa. my yeah. goodness, so they just moved. Absolutely moved. Without uprooted, telling you. Yeah, uprooted our lives. And, you know, so, I mean, it was for a good reason. My dad is running a restaurant now at the Golden Nugget called uh, Victor and Anthony's, and that's beautiful. Nice. But it was quite the change of scenery. Okay, that was a culture shock for you. Definitely. From Omaha, Nebraska to Vegas, it's hmm, nothing like each other. So then tell me how, that's also an interesting story, how you got to UNLV. Yes, so after I got here, my dad was like, listen, I don't want you to take a day off from school. I don't want you to, uh, you know, get complacent because a lot of people, when they have a gap in between school, they don't ever go back. So he got me here in August, which you know is way past um, time of enrollment. Oh, and yeah. We, yes. Yeah, I had to basically walk in off the street into UNLV, and I just found Dave Loeb, who was the dean of jazz there. And uh, I was just like, hey, I'm here. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, and I really need to be in, <laughs> in your school this semester. And he was like, you missed auditions, bud. But I actually auditioned to, uh, to him on the spot, and they let me in, and here we are, oh. you know, some and odd years later. And when you hear him sing, you're going to understand why he just oh, let him yes. in on the spot. That okay? was so fun. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. And I'm, you know, so grateful to him and everybody who I've met through that. That is fantastic. That is a fantastic story. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You must have been felt so grateful. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, Dave Loeb has a reputation of his own. So, you know, it was so honored, such an honor to have worked with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now you had some classical training as well absolutely. as some jazz training. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm classically trained as well, mm -hmm. so I know that that's, it's really, you know, people think being a music major that that's like not a big deal, but let mm -hmm. me tell you, being a music major is tough. Absolutely. It's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. And, um, you know, some people don't do it in four years because mm -hmm. it is so much work. I didn't. <laughs> it, well, okay, there you are. Not in four so, years. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's a lot of work mm -hmm. to do that. For sure. And, and, uh, 
you know, and if you have to work at the same time too, you know, it's it's a it's it's a big, big thing to do. So it's quite an accomplishment. Thank so, you so much. Yeah. So yeah. congratulations. Thank you. So now, how did you get started singing? Do you have um, family that sings or? Yes, uh, my dad was a piano player. He was a gospel piano player. Okay. And then my mom was actually a gospel singer in um, Kansas City, Missouri. And they actually crossed paths and met through music as well. Okay, okay, mm. nice. <laughs> so you started singing when you were how old? Ooh, probably like three or four, like ever since I remember. My parents have okay. been pushing me ever since I was young to sing. Okay, cool. Okay, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we're gonna see a video of Gary singing Summertime, which is just outstanding. You want to see this. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Thank you for calling Denim Revival. Hate to say goodbye to your favorite jeans? Well, now you don't have to, because Denim Revival is here for you. Mail us your jeans and our professionals will fix it right up. We offer you all kinds of alteration services, including invisible repairs, let outs, taperings, and original hemming, or even have your own custom made jeans. Quoted the best denim repair shop by GQ, Vogue Magazine, and LA Times. Denim Revival, your search for alteration and repair ends here. Welcome back to Behind the Entertainment Scene with Stephanie Thompson. I'm your host, and we have my fabulous co-host, Antonio Carnota. Thank you, Stephanie. Yes. Long son, it's a pleasure. Yes, we are, we are and we have our amazing guest, Gary Fowler, who's a singer-songwriter. He's just been telling us some really interesting stories. He's just graduated from UNLV. Congratulations. He is ready to get out on the music scene in Las <laughs> yes. Vegas. Absolutely. So you have some um, things coming up with your band. You're, you're, you're a songwriter. Yes, yes. And um, so you're going to be doing some original stuff with your band. Absolutely. And yeah. we'll be performing on June 29th at Elysian West at 8 p.m. And we'll be doing a full uh, So Far music video recording. And it'll be open to the public. Public, so please come on out. And you were telling me that you were on the news the other day. Absolutely, we were. Uh, we also did a music festival um, on June third, I believe, and it was called Jam at the Barn, and we got to perform on CBS, and that was mm. awesome on Channel Eight. And um, you know, the, there's a video out there; it's doing really well online. We sang my single, um, "The Boy Who Cried Wolf." Yeah. Cool, very cool. Yeah. And that's a YouTube video that you can find online with a Gary Fowler. Absolutely. Absolutely, <laughs> you can check that out. Mm -hmm. So, Gary, what are your aspirations now that you have graduated from UNLV? Where do you see yourself in five, ten years? Five, ten years. I, uh, to the core of my heart, I'm an artist and I want to um, play music, but. Um, I honestly love writing music, and if I can continue being an artist, that's great. I want to just work as a, a musician. That's my main goal. I know that sounds weird. Everybody's like, I want to be a star, but I'm like, I just want to work and share the music that's in my heart to everybody. That's a laudable goal. Mm -hmm, that's absolutely sure. a laudable goal. Cool. So who are your, who are your influences? Are your, I mean, who, who, you, who do you look up to when you think of... of uh, well, first and foremost, I look up to both of my parents. They were both, um, like I said, gospel musicians, and they were, are incredible, like, absolutely. Um, I also look up to people like Layla Hathaway and uh, okay. Moonchild and Lettucey, and I really just uh, enjoy listening to, like, neo-soul contemporary music. Okay, mm -hmm. very nice, very nice. Okay. We are going to check out Gary's video of Summertime now. This is his YouTube video of him singing Summertime. It is fantastic. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Check this out. Summertime And the living is easy Fish are jumping Woo! And the cotton is high Your day at the spring And your mama 
just so phenomenally talented. Thank you so much. That is just, uh, I have never heard Summertime sung like that before. Just, I, oh, I just loved that. Thank just you. Just loved that. So uh, when, you, when you take a piece like that and you, um, I mean, what, how, do you, um, how do you approach it? So you, I mean, you have the basic melody there. Right, for sure. And then you just, I don't know, you just sing from your heart and you just... It's so funny because uh, that brings me into the other show that I'm going to be playing. There's another show that's going to be on um, on June 22nd at the Dispensary Lounge. But okay. um, I work with a guy named Uli Geisendorfer there, who's also an amazing musician. Okay. And um, I started there, I want to say, four years ago, um, singing there regularly okay. every month. And he always pushed me to not sing things as they were. Everybody knows like the songs like Fly Me to the Moon that you learn when you're getting a jazz degree. And he was like, okay, let's do it as a samba. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and like, oh. So it was always um, people like him and like uh, listening to different people that made me want to do songs that were traditional, but not maybe in the tradi traditional way. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So who, if you, if you could choose an artist that you would like to collaborate with today, who would that be? Um, man, I really, I uh, really like Layla Hathaway. I like Bobby McFerrin, I like Lettucey. I It's hard to pick one. I'm, a, I'm greedy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have, um, so what, what, what would be about those artists that you would choose them? Um, I think that, you know, they're just so, um, inventive and, um, they use their bodies as instruments more so than just voices and I think that's uh, an art that's getting forgotten as we go on okay yeah. okay all right so are we gonna are we gonna do it yes mm -hmm. yes we would like to sing the song yeah, yeah. yeah. To sing the song we'll sing? yeah okay. we can sing the song please okay. please please oh, please, okay. please 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 right. oh much better now <laughs> okay so I was so inspired by his rendition of summertime we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna sing the duet together we're gonna yes. sing yes Oh, your daddy's ring. 
little baby do you cry <laughs> Singing, let you spread your wings and you take to the sky until the morning. There is nothing that can harm you. <laughs> oh, with daddy and mammy, stay. Don't you cry Don't you, don't you, don't you cry Don't you cry Thank you. That was such a treat. Yeah. Okay, so that was fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Hope you enjoyed that. That was fun. That was, that was fun for me. And we'll be right back. And we're gonna talk more with Gary Fowler. Awesome. Snap on dentures will change your life. And at Smiles Today Dental, we now offer the lowest price in town. Mini dental implants can stabilize your loose dentures permanently. Call Smiles Today Dental for a free consultation. Hi, I'm attorney Eric Palacios. If you or a loved one has questions regarding immigration, call my office at 444-7777. It's important to hire the right lawyer to take care of your immigration needs. Call 444-7777. The Friendly Ford Cup is on. Yes. The great customer service. Yes. The top dollar for your trade. Yes. At Friendly Ford, Decatur and US 95. Pay less and get more. At Friendly Ford, you get more. Welcome back to Behind the Entertainment Scene with Stephanie Thompson. I am your host. I have my fabulous co-host, Antonio Garnotta. La la la. And, uh, and he's amazing, playing music. That yeah, that was so fun. And we have so Gary Fowler Absolutely in the studio. Beautiful. We're just having fun with him. Absolutely. He's like my new play toy to play singing with. <laughs> and we need one more song. One more song. We would need Wait, one should more. we do one oh, more yes. song? Okay. Yes. Uh, how about uh, What a Wonderful uh, World? Oh, okay. You want to do yeah. that? Sure. Okay. Can you do that, Antonio? <laughs> I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you, and I think to myself, what a I see clouds, skies of blue, and clouds of white, the bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful I'm 
think to myself What a wonderful world Yes, I think to myself What a It's so fun to sing with. Oh, you. Come on. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I, I can spend so, all day playing for you. I know. I know. Can, can't you? Yes. Just, yes I can just, yes. oh, I enjoy it so much. So, Gary, now, yes. I know you're young, and I always like to ask this to my guests, and, mm -hmm. and they're usually older than you. Okay. But think about things that maybe you've learned from, from older performers, but I like to ask, what kind of lessons have you learned along your journey or what kind of lessons have you learned from from other performers that you know maybe you can share with our viewers absolutely today? i've gotten to meet so many countless that i can't uh i can't remember them all but mm -hmm. you know some immediate ones was my teacher at unlv and she was her name is jobel yonelli okay. and she is an amazing singer as well as you probably all heard her voice before she was one of the first ladies to like sing ba -da -ba -ba -ba, i'm loving it. she has like uh, an extensive uh commercial work but she is uh one of my inspirations and she helped me know just uh you know she was i would always get so nervous before i go on stage and always get so uh worked up and she was just like gary you've been doing this you've Rehearse this, calm down, take your time. And, that, mm -hmm. and she used to tell me that all, all the time. Calm down, take your time. And I think okay. that I secretly like, say that to myself before I get on stage now. <laughs> I like, still do that. Her. Absolutely. <laughs> so, wonderful artist in nice. town. And uh, as well as others like Clint Holmes and Don Cunningham, they have been such inspirations to me. And I've gotten to work alongside them, and they're just great people. And, uh, just taught me a lot about stage presence and Don Cunningham about scatting really helped me uh, with that. Just all amazing people. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Antonio, did you yes. have a question for yes, him? Yes, Stephanie, because you started to sing when you were a young three, four? Four, yeah. Four years three old. Three or four. Re can you, you are too young, so you, you can remember three songs that you were singing when you were four, five, seven years old. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Three no, numbers. My please. first um, song was What Child Is This? Uh, just the Christmas oh, yes. song. <laughs> yes. And I sang it like, because I was young. But um, <laughs> then I think I also sang uh, like a song called Tomorrow that was uh, one of my parents' favorite songs in church. And uh, I also sang Pure Imagination from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, like just as a thing that we would do every oh. now and then. It was a lot of fun. Did you get started singing in the church? I did. I started off in a small Pentecostal church in Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. And uh, my parents, my dad played organ in the church, and my mom, okay. like I said, was a singer. And uh, they, because they were musicians themselves, they didn't know what shy was at that point. They were both seasoned musicians, so I was shy, but absolutely didn't get to be shy. They pushed me out there and, and kind of made me go for it, no matter how I felt, so. Well, but God, of which I thank them for that. God bless them. Right, exactly. Yes. <laughs> God bless them for doing that. Mm -hmm. And look at you now. Yes, I'm so, you know, so happy for them. And still, you know, still sing with them from time to time. So it's mm -hmm. awesome. That's amazing. Now, do you have any aspirations? Do you want to do any acting or anything like that? Or, or you just want to be a musician? Or? You know, it's so funny because I keep getting pushed in that direction. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm an open book. I can see you because you have that personality. That well, thank you, you could, so much. Yeah, yeah I, I keep get, getting pushed in that direction. I've been offered a few roles, and I am a little hesitant, but, you know, I'm definitely um, open to anything. Okay, we're going to take another quick commercial break, and when we come back, he is going to sing and play for us live in the studio, Whoa. and that is going to be another treat for you. Wow. Do not want to miss it. We'll be right back. At other stores, you could pay $9.99 for this table with just four chairs. At Walker Furniture, you get the New Haven table with innovative self-storing 18-inch leaf and six swivel chairs for only $9.99. Larry's price.
I am your host. And I have my fabulous co-host, Antonio Carnota. Oh, yeah. Now no, I am the guest. I am the now guest. Now you are the guest. Yeah, now I am the guest. Okay. Yeah, he's much, much better pianist than me. So and he Gary's can... <laughs> sitting at the piano. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Playing oh, piano goodness. and singing. Gary's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah awesome. he is. Awesome. Now, wait. I should be asking you some questions, Antonio. Oh, yes. Uh, let me ask you something. Are your parents still singing uh, here in Vegas? Absolutely. And playing piano and playing the organ. And I just, I just. Absolutely, yeah. They sing in a group called uh, Tahila, and they sing every Sunday morning at eight o'clock and ten forty-five oh. at uh, Mountaintop Faith Ministries. Oh, yeah, fun. they and, they really do. And do, do you join with them? Do you oh, absolutely. I love I love that. I love to sing with my parents. So you know, I'm always there with them. Do, 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 oh, do you have any fantastic. other brothers and sisters? I have a brother, and he lives uh, in Kansas City, Missouri, so right now. So he's is off he, doing his is own. Is he a musician? Thing. Yes, he is. So all the family. You, Everybody. You love music. Yeah. And I can imagine that your room has many posters and flies about musicians, music. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. What, what about the music from Europe? Have you ever heard music from Europe, Spain, France? I mean, yeah, France? absolutely. I was in a, a a world music group while I was in uh, UNLV, uh -huh. and I got to sing in Swahili and in oh. Spanish and Swahili, French, mm. Russian. Amazing. Do many different languages. So I, wow. I absolutely. How is Swahili? Swahili. Swahili. How yeah, is that? it's uh, interesting to sing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fun. Yeah, I I sang a song called. Uh, Vium de Viote Via Mongueto. And it's, uh, it means all creatures of our God and King. It was a lot of fun. Oh, nice. <laughs> Very nice. And I think, are you sharing with us a song? Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm sharing a song that I it's wrote. It's your composition? Yeah, it's my composition. I, I tend to write about uh, off kilter things, but this song is called Devil's Advocate. And it's a, a song I wrote about a breakup. It's kind of sad, but hopefully you enjoy it anyway. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel that there is somebody that's watching me I'm not crazy It's almost like I can feel your presence when I'm all alone Ever since we met I feel possessed and you are haunting me Please lose your spell I'm not yours Been married for years and you can say that it was happily so I thought I never took the time to explore the option that I might want more I know that it's wrong but hey now who are you to judge me? Mind to yourself, everyone gets bored Why must the bad things always feel so good? Yeah Some people might say I'm misunderstood And others they know oh, oh, oh. They know I'm no good Sometimes I feel that there is somebody that's watching me I'm not crazy It's almost like I can feel your presence when I'm all alone Ever since we met I feel possessed and you are haunting me Please lose your spell I'm not yours Why must the bad things always feel so good? Some people might say I'm misunderstood And others they know oh, 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 I'm no good
<laughs> Thank you so much. That was Devil's Advocate. I love that. I love that. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Isn't it amazing what breakups can bring out of us? Absolutely. Absolutely. That wasn't a direct translation, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so um, Antonio. Well, no, I would like to ask him when it was the first time, your first song. How old were you when you were, wrote your first When I wrote my first your song. Your first complete song that you said. That I'm, I can imagine that you were sharing, sharing the song with your mama, your papa. Oh, hey, 16. everybody. 16. Yeah. 16. 16. 16. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Do you remember the song? Yeah, I do, actually. Um, it was just, I, I didn't, fit. <laughs> it was uh, an, about a breakup as well. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty. We, we really we're we're going to have to have you back, Gary. Because yeah, we're, we're, so we don't have time we, for that today. Yeah, we don't have time, but you, you have been a wonderful guest. <laughs> Thank you so and much. Antonio. You need to come here because oh my you goodness. are the star. No, yes. no. You need to come here, please. Mm -hmm. so, Maestro, it's yes. your turn. <laughs> so yes. Nice. Um, Gary, how <laughs> can they time. reach you? You can reach me on Facebook. Um, I'll put up my Facebook link right now. And, um, you know, just keep in touch with me. I uh, send out email blasts every time I'm having a show in town. Remember Wonderful. June 22nd, June 29th. And, um, you know, it'll all be on the Facebook link as well. We talked about it in the show today. And I thank you guys again for having yeah, me. Thank you for being on our show. Absolutely. We loved having you. Great. Yes. Thank you. Okay, Antonio, let's yes. bring it home. It's a pleasure. Are you ready, Stephanie? Come on, one, two. Now the end of the show, we really had to let you go. We promised that we will return. We made it work. Come back and see us next week. God bless you, everyone. Bless your family. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Until next time, take care.